CampSnap has a variety of different filter options that you can install directly onto your CampSnap camera to give your photos an edited look straight out of the camera. This video will go over how to download, install, and change filters, including the brand new custom filter option that allows you to create your own filters to suit your taste. Step 1. Check your camera to see which version you have. Custom filters can currently only be used on version 103B cameras. If your camera has the red LED screen, you have a version 101 camera and custom filters do not apply. If your camera has the regular non-LED screen, check the back of the box that the camera came in. If the box says V103B under the SKU, then your camera is version 103B and custom filters can be used on your camera. If the box does not say V103B, then you have the V103 camera and custom filters cannot be used. If you've determined that you have a V101 or a V103 camera, please do not attempt to install custom filters or the V103B firmware. We will go over updating filters for the older versions of the camera later in this video. Step 2. Once you've determined that you have a V103B camera, you're ready for the next step. Make sure your camera is charged to at least 50% so it doesn't power off during the update. Head over to campsnapcamera.com and click on the support tab. To apply custom filters, you will first need to update your camera's firmware by clicking the firmware link to download the firmware. Step 3. Plug in your V103B CampSnap camera using the USB cable and locate the camera's main folder. For Mac and Windows, it should appear on your desktop, but if it doesn't, you can search for it in your computer's finder by searching CampSnap. Step 4. Copy the .bin firmware update file into your camera's root directory folder. This is not the DCIM folder. You can do this by dragging and dropping the .bin file into the folder that says CampSnap. Step 5. Eject your camera and disconnect it from your computer. Turn on your camera and you will see it updating indicated by the UPD on the screen. Once it turns off, turn it on again and the update is complete. Now, you're ready to start creating your own custom filter. Step 6. Back on the support page, click on the custom filter website link. Here, you can use the sliders to adjust the look of the example photo or your own photo if you choose to upload one. You can adjust things like brightness, contrast, hue, colors, and more. Once you're happy with the way the example photo looks, click save filter and name your filter. From there, it will download to your computer. Step 7. Once the filter is downloaded, plug your CampSnap camera in again using the USB cable and locate the camera's main folder again. Copy the .flt filter file over into your root directory folder, not the DCIM folder. You can do this again by dragging and dropping the .flt file into the folder that says CampSnap. Step 8. Eject your camera and disconnect it from your computer. Turn on your camera and you will see it updating to your custom filter indicated by the CUS on the screen and the update is complete. From there, you're ready to start taking some epic photos. Please note, the camera can only load one custom filter at a time. If you have multiple filters on the camera, it will pick the first one it sees. We recommend only having one filter on the camera at a time. CampSnap also offers pre-made standard filters, black and white filters, and vintage film style filters for all of the camera versions. You can download and install these pre-made filters on the CampSnap support page on their website. If you have the V103 or V101 camera, you can download the filter by clicking on the Legacy Cameras link on the support page. Select which camera you have and click to download the filter. For V103 cameras, follow steps 7 and 8 with the .brn filter file and you're good to go. For V101 cameras with the red LED display, please be sure to follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the CampSnap support page to ensure that you properly install your filter, since these require multiple filter files. Lastly, have fun and enjoy.